So, hello. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, I'm just here in for more, which is just beyond Castle Gregory, past the Maharees and all that. It's absolutely unreal here. Absolutely unreal. It's like a very different country. I decided to wear yellow today to get out, feel bright, feel sunny. And uh, today is a self care day. Looking after myself, which is always good. Um, yeah, I was training yesterday. And uh, it was quite intense training yesterday, but I've been training for the last week or so. But I've been doing crazy hours of work, like madness. And today is one of those days where I get off to take the chill pill before I go back into training and then I go back into work. So today's my only day off, but I decided to make it a day about myself, which is always good and always positive. So, something I just want to say to everyone is, make sure you take those days, take those time, that time, and enjoy it. And look after yourself, because at the end of the day, if you don't look after yourself, you can't look after anything else. You can't do things right, you get frustrated, you get pissed off, you start losing your shit over the tiniest of things. It's more about getting rid of the cobwebs out of the mind, clearing your own space, clearing your own head. Kind of getting to places like this where there's literally nothing around you. And it kind of gives you a bit of perspective. And I was there yesterday at this training and I had a, a light bulb moment. And in this training we were talking about how the, the job that we're in is like lots of conflict, lots of stress, lots of violence at times, not all the time, but when it does go, it really does go. And they were talking about how outbursts and conflict can be detrimental to people. And I kind of took it from another perspective and said, well, it depends on the outburst. You can use it to be productive. And I had a kind of brainwave as, why be destructive when you can be productive? A light bulb moment. I think people need to take that on for themselves. Is it like you look at life, see how it is for you? I know we're in this situation, which I'm not really going to go into detail about because everyone's heard about it constantly and they're sick about it, sick of hearing it. But yeah, I kind of see my days as what am I going to do today? How am I going to progress, move forward? Even the smallest little thing. And I always have this mindset that if you get up in the morning, and just have a coffee or whatever but you go with a purpose set up the tiniest of goals oh I'm gonna go to Dunn's what are you gonna do in Dunn's? nothing <laughs> but it doesn't matter you get out you see things you move because we all know ourselves when it gets after work you get like fucking brain fade and you get lazy and you get like oh I just want time to myself but time to yourself also means to get out and breathe and live and enjoy it and to be fair, I am unbelievably biased that I absolutely love this country. I love where we are. I love Kerry. I've been to many countries. I've lived in countries outside of here. And I always find myself coming back here. There's a reason for that. It's because it's the best place in the world. And for all my friends who are away and abroad and whatnot, come here, live here, enjoy it. And the weather isn't bad, what people always talk about, and say that it's horrible and it's raining all the time. It's like, no, it's not. It's not at all. I get moments like this. You get magic moments like this, where it's absolutely amazing. But like, it's, this is like paradise. I try and turn around now, because I can't turn around my camera on this phone, which is really annoying when you're recording. So, I don't know if anybody can see that. Looks cool, isn't it? And I'll show you how much of a beach I'm walking on. And there's no one here. There's no one here. It's just me on a beach in the middle of nowhere, getting the sun and enjoying it. Now I'm rambling, but so what? I can ramble all I want. But I want to share some news with you. Well, and I can tell you what it is, you'll just see it. In a few weeks' time, 
as I always do, I'm always kind of working on little projects and little things at the site to keep my brain going. Because it's not all about physical work or mental work, it's about enjoying your hobbies and then your hobbies can be productive for you and they can bring you money, they can bring you success, they can bring you friendships. And this is one of those situations where that is happening. Um, I'm going doing something that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I didn't really kind of have the confidence to do, but a very good friend of mine, um, very, very good friend of mine, long term friend of mine, turned around to me and said, I need you to do a job for me, I need you to do something for me, I know you can do it, so I'm, you're doing it. I was like, okay. So, on the 5th of June, I'm going to have a surprise for all of you, because that's the day. And we work together on many different projects, mainly the kind of stuff that we work on together is our own mindsets and how we think and how we function. I'd be more along the lines of the psychological aspect of it, and I'm referring to a very good friend of mine, Mr. Ron O'Shea, who is more about the physical attributes of it. So we've been working together for the last number of years, getting inside the head, decoding it, understanding it to the best of our ability, and now we're seeing the rewards for it. So some of you might know, but last year, it wasn't actually planned, it just happened, I decided that I wasn't going to drink anymore. Well, I wasn't going to drink for a period of time. And, as of today, it's 438 days since I had a drink. Isn't that cool? And, I didn't even notice, which is even funnier. But as you know, I'm not really a big drinker anyway. But, it was great. My head's the clearest it has ever been. I'm the healthiest I've ever been. And I'm living the dream. All my relationships, friendships, are all working like fucking clockwork. And all the people who are in my life, I absolutely adore. So I'm here, oh, there's a, I don't know if you can hear that, there's a horse. A very big horse. So I'm going to go this way. <laughs> it wouldn't be me if something random didn't fucking turn up. But anyway, 